Hey, kia ora, Helen Brums here coming to you live from Escondido, California. Hope you all had a super fantastic sparkling day. Um, it started off very cold this morning. It was like 43 degrees here in the in sparkles and it was 30 something outside. <laughs> so a very cold morning. So I um, had a call at nine o'clock that I had to do. So I jumped up, raced out, unlocked Zephy's cage and raced her back to bed, snuggled back down for a bit because this is like about... 5 30 6 o'clock this morning and um and she what are you doing come here what you doing say hi hey say hi go hi bill <laughs> this, dog, this dog's in crazy mode um we just came back from a 40 minute walk oh my gosh <laughs> what are you doing go go get it go get your toys which toy did you leave it on the bed again um, sorry. So we, so we just laid there and stung and she just curled up and went straight back to sleep. And so I just laid there and read for a bit and then when it, and we had put the heater on so it would warm up a little bit. I have yet to do the furnace in the RV. I want to get it checked before I try and ignite it for the, for the heating of the RV with the propane, um, since I have never used it before. Um, so I just got a little ceramic heater here that we put that on for about half an hour and then got up got dressed and all that stuff, had breakfast, did my accountability call. Um, I love accountability calls. Do you have goals and do you have somebody that you're accountable to for your goals? Because it is so awesome to have somebody that you can go, well, this is what I did this week. Um, here's my goals for next week. And then the following week you get in and go, well, I did this, I did this, but I didn't get this done. Um, so it's always awesome because they help you stay on track with your goals and stuff. And um, so I've been doing pretty well with my um with my 30 day goal that I've got going at the moment, when I get to my, um, am I getting my zero gravity chairs? Um, if I complete my, when I can, when I complete my 30 day challenge, I get to go buy my zero gravity chairs that I was actually going to purchase on my birthday as my birthday present to myself. But I decided to put it off till the 7th of January when I can then go and use it as a celebration for achieving my 30 day challenge. So, um, and my 30-day challenge is all to do with marketing and getting some stuff put in place um, for marketing that starts this month and goes throughout the and goes throughout next year. Um, so that was kind of cool. Then I had um, then what did we do? Oh, we went. We did a lot of short walks today. We you yeah, could have got up at six o'clock this morning and gone walking, but I don't have my gloves or my hat or my. I don't have much winter stuff here in the RV. I've got to go to the storage unit and get that stuff out. Um, I thought I had it in a bag under my locker, so I went and checked the locker and the bags were empty and I was like, oh, I guess i got to go to the storage unit and pull out my winter stuff. So I'm going to have to do that this week. Um, what else did we do? And then I had a lot of calls going on, so she got a lot of short walks today. And then we just got back from one that took us probably almost an hour we were gone. And we're down in that little, they've got a little dog walk area. It's not fenced off, so you can't let the dogs off the leash. Um, but it's this big dirt area that they've got all this mulch on and they've got this beautiful little gravel path that goes up there and around it. And um, normally when we go to that area, we're in and out in, in less than two minutes, I think sometimes five. We were there for 30 minutes and I just, I swear, she sniffed just about every inch of that place. And there were certain areas where the bushes were separated where you could look down the hill at the down to the lower level <laughs> because it was dark um she'd walk to them and she'd go sniffing at them and all of a sudden she'd leap in the air and try and take off and of course we only have a six foot lead so she'd suddenly come to an abrupt halt but she did that at a couple of places and every time we went past that spot she did the same thing it's like seriously um, we did have a proud mama moment today. She did her dog brick. That's the one with the little um, the little hiding places where you put the treats in. And you've got to flip the top open, slide the container, or remove the or remove a piece completely off the board. And I did a Facebook live with her two or three days ago with that on it. Well, she had an all time record today. She got it done in five minutes. The whole thing. I had all the covers on. I even alternated how the bones were on the thing because one side of the bone is higher on the um, that covers those little pockets. Um, then the other side alternated them and she got everything done in five minutes. And I was like, jeep has now got to find something else to challenge her with. So she loves these, these puzzle toys and stuff. And, um, oh my gosh, she's chomping on her Kong rings. Look, let's see if we'll turn this around. Let's see what she does. Oh, now she stopped chomping on because she knows the camera's on her. <laughs> but she's, Basically ignored those things the entire time. That's what's left of the alligator. Her very first stuffed toy we got her three and a half weeks ago. 
that's what's left of it a flat piece of material and this piece down here that's the face you've got the two eyes left there <laughs> i think that one's going to be finding its way to the trash very very soon um so yeah, so it's been a very busy day today as far as work goes. Got a lot of stuff done, got a lot of ideas um, penned out, got some writing done. I had a great writers group last night. I had a portion of a chapter that I had written that I took along with me and got good reviews on it, good feedback and all of that sort of stuff. And um, so yeah, got some more writing done today, got some playtime in with her. Um, she is the cutest thing when it comes to looking out the window. She is the nosiest dog. Oh my gosh. So I've got to open up the the blinds in the morning um and then she go and as soon as i open the blinds she's on that couch looking out what's going on what's happening what's da, da, da. and um for the last let's see i moved onto this site last week yes last week i moved onto this site here that we're currently on so the three um to our left on the driver's side um have all been vacant and then of course a couple of days ago we had two fifth wheelers moving on the far two one and then today um there was a um, Class A that moved in next to us, which is probably about a 40-footer. And um, it took them a few attempts to get in there. And I was like, hmm. Um, and I happened to be on a Zoom with somebody else at the time. And so I turned the computer around so they could see what was going on and, and see Zephy up there watching everything and looking out the window and watching with great interest as to what this thing was that was coming in next to us. So it's been a, it's been a very good day today. Um, Tonight we're going to watch The Christmas Chronicles with Kurt Russell. I haven't seen it before and I've heard lots of interesting things about it. So I'm going to watch that tonight. So that's on our agenda. We're on our Christmas fest right now. So um, we started off with The El Camino Christmas, which was kind of an interesting movie. And tonight we're going to watch Christmas Chronicles. Um, well, the Netflix is playing nicely with us. <laughs> I do have National Lampoon's queued up in the DVR. I'm um, in the DVD player. So... Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to watch that one this weekend. That's going to be a, a weekend one. Yeah, I don't want to watch it at night. I'm going to watch that on Saturday. I think I'm going to do that then. After we come back from Zephy's first training class on Saturday, we'll probably sit down and watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. There's a whole routine I have to go through to get ready to watch that, with getting the snacks ready and all that sort of stuff. So um, getting in comfy in the chair and... Um, because one of those movies that I don't like stopping in the middle because you can, yeah, there are places that you could pause in the movie, but I don't. It's one of those movies I like to watch all the way through. Um, so I've got to make sure everything is queued up, ready to go, um, that we have the drinks ready, the snacks ready and all of that. Get comfy, get her, take her out for a walk, although she would have just come back from training. So coming back from training would be a great time to do it because she would have been exhausted and she'll probably go to sleep and that would be a good time. So Saturday or Sunday because we do training on Sunday as well. But we'll see. Anyway, um, so good productive day. Lots of ideas for 2020. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself next year. Um, <laughs> but starting to starting to think more about my trip across the states. I just have to figure out my actual start date. I know I have a six something coming up on the second of February. Um, for a 60th birthday party and of course my oldest grandson turns five at the beginning of February so I've got to figure out if they're going to do a party when they're going to do it and that sort of stuff so I can make sure I'm here for that and um, then hit the road so and I have to figure out um, what on sparkles I need to get done like I'll need to get oil changes done on the generator on the engine um, yeah, just get the general maintenance stuff done on the RV before we start that trek across the state. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting, and I'm looking forward to planning that. So hope you all have a super fantastic sparkling evening. I am off to watch The Christmas Chronicles with Kurt Russell. Um, never seen it before. Sounds interesting. I'll let you know tomorrow. Hey, konera.